this video we are going to talk about local branches. These are also known as topic branches for reasons that we'll see later. Now in the previous video we looked at pretty much the simplest possible Garrett workflow. Creating a commit, pushing it for review, and then amending it based on reviewer feedback. Now this works fine as long as you only ever have one patch open against one repo at the same time. However, if you do this for long enough, eventually you're going to want to work on two patches against the same repo at the same time, and they're not going to be related, so you don't want to stack the commits and put an unnecessary dependency in there. The way to do this is local branches. So if we come over here and take a look at our sandbox repo, we can see we only have the one master branch. This is what you get by default when you clone the repo. So to create a new branch, we're going to do git checkout dash b, and the dash b tells it to create a new branch as opposed to just switching to an existing branch. And so if we look at our branches again, now we see that we have a bar branch. And if we look at the log, we can see that we have our test commit. Now the problem with this is that we've also left that test commit on the master branch because we committed it there in the first place. And the new branch creation just made a copy of our master branch. Now I do this on a fairly regular basis because I forget to create a local branch even though that is generally considered a best practice when working on Garrett reviews. So to go back and clean that up, what we'll do is we'll check out the master branch again. And you can see there's our commit and we will just go ahead and remove that from the master branch. And there are multiple ways you can do this. I'm just using git reset hard. Okay, and now we will go back to our new branch and you can see our commit is still safe and sound here even though we just removed it from the master branch. So we are good to go. And now we will make an amendment to it and we can go ahead and do a review. And if we go over here and take a look at our new patch set, actually that won't do it. I think we're still in the old patch set then. Okay, and you will see it's still on the master branch because our local branch was based on master, but now we have a topic set and this is why they're called topic branches as well and that matches our the name of our local branch. Now the other thing that you may have to do when you start creating local branches is rebase them because let's say a patch merges into the upstream master branch and maybe you need to depend on that in your local branch or maybe it's fixing a bug that's causing problems in your local branch and so the way to do that is rebasing so to rebase our local branch, the simplest way I know of to do it is just a git pull dash dash rebase origin master. Now in this case this isn't actually going to do anything because we're already up to date with origin master. So let's do a quick fiddle with the repo and remove one of the master patches. So if we take a look at the git log you can see we've removed one of the patches that used to be in between ours and the, the previous master patches. So now if we do our rebase, we'll see that it's actually done something and it's put that patch back in there. Okay. And I'm only covering the really simple case here where there are no merge conflicts. Uh, we'll probably do a, a separate video later about how to deal with merge conflicts because that's a little bit more complicated process. But for now, this is the easy one. If you did this and your master branch was actually out of date with the upstream master, your local master branch that is, uh, you would find that when you checked out your master branch, it would tell you that you were behind origin master and uh, a simple git pull here would get you up to date. But in this case, since there weren't actually any new commits on origin master, there's nothing for it to do. So that's pretty much it for the initial introduction to local branches. Thanks for watching.